Ah, right, hello everybody. I'm gonna jump right into it. And here's what I here's what I got to do next. I've got to make some notches in this right here. And now I'm fitting to show you one of the secrets and uh that'll that'll come back and cover this. Okay, here's what I use to cut my notches out. See that it's a skill saw and the blade set to just the right depth of uh, and the blade is wop-sided. I made it wop-sided where it'll cut a little wider, uh, wide, where it'll cut a little wider space than normal. Now, I'll demonstrate this right here, but I'm not going to be able to use it, uh, for, for mine, but I, I'll show you, I'll show you why. Now, I usually set this up, cut about a hundred of them, and then take it down and put it back up. And I got the trigger fixed where when you plug it in, it comes on. See, this one's already been done. But I just went through the motion, you know, just to show you. See how wide that gap is right there? That's too much, and that's why I can't use this right here. I've got this, this thing set up for making them ultimate antennas, and I ain't going to change it just to make one of these. So I'll cut it on my big saw. But uh, when you make yours, you want to have your uh, cuts about uh, probably about an inch and a, uh, inch and a quarter apart from the center. Here's where we at. I didn't think that damn dog next door was gonna ever shut up. But uh, see my notches I got in here? They're kind of back to like kind of where I was starting at this morning. And uh, and you don't have to make a dual antenna. You can just you can make one of these a single if you want to. I want to say that. And this right here is the ultimate antenna. Uh, I got a uh. I got a video on, on how to make that. It's called, uh, well, hell, I can't remember what it's called, but it's something about Ultimate Antenna. Okay, I don't know if I said it or not, but these right here are 30 inches. And I'm going to tell you something important here. I'm going to tell you a couple things important, and I ain't lying this time. The, we got the mark where we going to uh, solder the uh, whiskers on and this is the one that's going to be crossed. And watch how I do this. I'm kind of... You know, doing that. And, uh... <laughs> hell of a way to explain something, man. But you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to mark that. <clears throat> and these marks is where the whisker goes. And let me tell you something. This important. Now, when I make these antennas, I don't even make them like this. I got another setup. But I want to tell you this right here. If you take this, if you mark it, if the one that goes on this side, when you solder it together, you put it back on this side it goes on. Don't put it over here. It has to be almost it 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 has to be almost perfect to to match up and and it seems like you could just do it like that, but and and you might get lucky, and it might do it, but don't damn count on it. Here's what it looks like before I put the whiskers on there. Figured I'd show you that. And there is a part one to this, so if you haven't seen that, need to check that out. All right, I got it set up, solder. I'll tell you something while I'm doing this right here, and uh. I have been known to drink. I'm about doing quick because it about killed me the last time. But uh, I call out there where my wife works at, at the missile place. I I say I got a, I got a complaint. I disguise my voice, you know. I got a complaint with one of your testers. And uh. 
And they'd go along with it for a minute. They'd say, uh, Danny, do you want to talk to him? I said, no, nah, I, I was just joking. I, I was just joking. Then I called, in, in 15 minutes, I called back again. I called back again a few minutes later and tell them again I had a complaint about one of the testers. You know, who knows why I do what I do. But, uh, they said, yeah, what's the complaint? I said, uh, I, I, I miss her. I want her to come home. She ain't no fun, you know, sitting around without Tammy, you know. Then I'd see them 1-800 numbers on TV. I'd start calling them. I'd say, what? Uh, where my damn check? You know, I would try to act stupid, you know. I said, where my damn check at? I said, what check? I said, you know the damn check I'm talking about. I said, you trying to get me to damn run around? I said, I'll come out and whoop somebody's ass now. And, uh, man, I've, I've done that before for hours. All right, I'll let you look this over and, uh, kind of... I got that side done. Boys, we don't like a bunch more. Uh, wife brought a grill home one day. And, you know, I am them a lot smarter than her, you know. And I didn't want to put that damn grill together. And I told her I didn't know how to do it. So I said... She was talking about she could do it. I said, I bet you $20 that you can't put that grill together. She damn, I said, all right. She started working on that thing. Hell must have worked on it two damn hours. I was sitting there watching her laughing and stuff. And she said, I, she finished. She said, I told you I could do it. I said, yep. Looks like I got to give you $20. Sure done it. And you know, I, you know, I don't even know if she even knows to this day she's been, she had been had, you know. But, uh, and I'm fitting to show you another big time secret. What you're looking at right there is the center of this thing. Now, have you noticed that there's not a place to put this right here? This transformer? You see me cutting the ends off of it? And, uh, See, I got my transformer skin back, and I'm going to wrap it around here. I mean, this right here is a hell of a secret, you know. It won't never uh, get whatever that stuff that get copper gets, you know. You know, lose connection. This will be solid. I mean, this whole damn antenna. And this is how I make them ultimate antennas. I need me one of them cameras. You know, you don't want to overdo this right here. When you get it, leave it. You don't want to get your transformer too hot. Here's my reflectors. But, uh, I, I buy a roll of them. And, uh, I bend them with this metal brake. But, uh, I went ahead and put this down. I actually filmed that, doing that. But it didn't turn out too good. I'm getting tired. It's, it's, this right here is, took me all day to do. Uh, but it's a lot of trouble when you're filming. There's my tower right there. Now, when I put this antenna on that on that tower, uh, it'll pick up a gust. All right, here it is. I'll be glad to be through with this video. I done put up three antennas, put a hard drive in my computer, re-ran the windows. But I'm gonna let you get a look at it. I'm gonna show you the booster set up and how I got the splitter and everything. And I'm going to show you how to know that you got this thing set at exactly the position that you need to set it. You got to have Google Earth to do this. If you ain't got it, you need to download it. You see these two red lines. One of them is going up to the 12 o'clock position. And one of them is uh, like maybe, you know, almost 4 o'clock, you know. And that's the way... Them two antennas has got to be pointed. Here's the mount that I got for this thing. Uh, this came on here, 
You know, I done took to the promised land. You're going to have to figure your own man out. But this is what this is what that is. I bought it at that home store, you know. And I got it where it'll just slide inside that pipe. Here's the back of it. My wife heard me going over that footage I had the other day. She wasn't too crazy about me telling about that grill. Okay. What I got here is I got two identical wires coming down from each side running into this splitter right here. And then I got a single coming out going into the booster. You know, this is the part that goes in the house right here. And you see I had to cut this wire right here where this will turn toward the uh, 4 o'clock position. If you make your antenna like the way I showed you here, You'll have a hole through your arm, you'll have a divorce, but you will have yourself one hell of an antenna. And if you like this video, click like and let me and YouTube know you like it where they'll play it. Alright, I'm down here on the church land. That way right there is toward Macon. And uh, that way right there is toward Augusta. And uh, you see I did bring a longer pole, but I left my drill at home out. I'm surprised it's picking up that good there. But uh, an antenna don't have to be high. It just has to have a clear shot. Now, here's the channels that we're getting. Uh, you know, they don't have as many channels as making as making does, but it's a bunch of them. And I've actually got it on a Augusta channel now. I'll show it to you. And uh, see this uh, 6.1 here? That's Augusta. And uh, Gus is about a hundred, about a hundred something miles, you know, hundred five, hundred fifteen, I don't know, something like that. You see him getting a good signal there. Hey y'all, this, I mean this, these antennas they bad to the bone. 